What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 Beta 5 to developers. This is coming just two days after 11.2.5 Beta 4, and it's kind of unclear why Apple seemed to rush out this update. It's about 150 megabytes on my iPhone 10. If you're a public beta tester, you should be seeing this at around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time or 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time later today. I've looked around the operating system a little bit and haven't been able to find anything that's new. I even checked Apple's official developer release notes, and for the fourth beta in a row, they are absolutely identical. It's still unclear whether iOS 11.2.5 has the fix for the Spectre vulnerability or if that's coming at a later date. At this point, once again, I assume it's here, but Apple has not really reached out and confirmed that yet. I know throughout the beta process I've been repeating myself a lot on iOS 11.2.5, but there's just not a whole lot happening to talk about. Apple is releasing new betas very frequently. We just saw beta 4. We're already on beta 5 two days later. We still don't know why it's called 11.2.5. Apple has not been updating the release notes. We know that something has to be changing because they are releasing updates we just don't know exactly what that is. We have the new feature with Siri where you can ask Siri about the news and she will tell you the news. You can switch between CNN, The Washington Post, Fox News, and NPR. But besides that new feature, I've looked around, there's not a whole lot happening. Moving on to performance, I wanted to see if there were any changes in this update. On 11.2.5 beta 4, I got 10,158 for the multi-core score, 4,252 for the single core score, and in this update it was a little bit better. One point higher on the single core score and 10,350. 42, which was noticeably higher than on beta 4. I can't really notice those changes though, it definitely feels extremely smooth, but at the same time, I'm on an iPhone 10 and iOS 11 has been pretty good for me in general. Now I can't speak about how battery life has been in iOS 11.2.5 beta 5 because that was just released about an hour ago, but so far on iOS 11.2.5, it's been really good. I've got an iPhone 10, so battery life is good in the first place, but I haven't noticed any big swings up or down for battery performance. It seems about the same as iOS 11.2 was. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you're interested in downloading my wallpaper, you can check out the link down below in the description. If you enjoyed watching this, it does help me out if you take one second to drop a like, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch, use the code beta for 10% off your purchase of any t-shirt or hoodie on the site, and that would be incredible. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next one.